so I just finished Ultimate Spider-Man 2 and they are knocking it out of the park with this one. And here are some of my takeaways from this as well as some changes that are going on. Also, spoilers, so you already know. First, off gate, Speeder, Speeder, who's Peter? Peter is actually using the black costume in the beginning. So I understand that he's got the nanotechnology and he hasn't adopted that yet. And it's also pretty cool because his daughter, May, is afraid of this costume. Kind of like back in the day how May was also afraid of Spider-Man and believed everything the Bugle was doing. And the Bugle is actually starting to do a smear campaign against him already. One part that kind of fit into what a friend of mine was talking about is how this Spider-Man might be more irresponsible. Like, how would you give up your life and your whole family to just become a superhero? I get a midlife crisis type thing, but you're doing well for yourself. So why would you do that? And he even says here, like, should you do that after 20 years? Should I jump right in? He does try to do good, but I wonder if he'll just try to become more like selfish as it goes along. So it's an interesting plot line to kind of follow. Also, we learned Peter doesn't have spider sense in this universe because he's not taken out by the shocker, not once, but twice. It actually doesn't detect when he's being looked at by May. So she finds out his secret in this issue. And they actually talk it out. She talks about how she doesn't like the costume. So I'm pretty sure this is going to lead to how he comes up with the new costume. Maybe it has like nanotechnology that allows him to change it. Or maybe it has the spider sense in it and he just hasn't unlocked it yet. This could play into the fact like in old days of the comics, his sense didn't go off if he saw someone as like a friend. So maybe because of the way Shocker was talking to him, he felt sympathy. So maybe that's an underlying weakness of it. But from how he took this head on and we got no warning, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have spider sense. And also it looks like the Kingpin is working for somebody. I know they have the Council of the Maker and he called himself Mr. Britain and he's got like the Captain Britain stuff on, but the way he looks in the face, I'm wondering, is this the Ultimate Universe's version of Kraven the Hunter? If so, putting Kraven above the Kingpin is an interesting take and I wanna see where they go with it or even having Captain Britain be a bad guy like this Captain Britain actually took the sword instead of the shield. Or it might just be misreading it. My eyes are bad. It might have said Britain for all I know. Last little thing. This issue starts off with February. So I wonder if each issue is going to be a different month and we're going to have to jump in with him learning more and more about his abilities. Like, is the book in real time? Issue 2, February. Plus, it actually is February. So it's definitely giving it this unique, like, real-time aspect that I'm liking because we just get dropped into what is going on with him. We don't know what's happened in the last few weeks. We kind of got to listen and figure out what's going on. Like here, he can barely stop himself while he's doing the web swinging, but by next month, he might be able to get better at the dismount. All in all, not a bad first issue, and I'm liking where it's going and how they're making him a little bit different than every other Peter Parker out there. Riding's top notch, and the art is just spectacular. See what I did there? I can't wait for issue three.